Okay, thank you everyone. And the thing, uh, my, to, my today's title is how to build an office in this Infect Tracker with Power Apps and SharePoint. So the app's name I've given is Infectra. It's a track office disinfect work. Okay. Now, uh, before I start, I just want to tell a bit about me. I was, I was born in Bangladesh, but living there for the last 10 years, where I completed my degrees in software engineering. Well, uh, my career began as a SharePoint developer, and now I'm working as a part platform developer remotely, of course, and kind of focusing on Power Apps and for Automate. Um, to be honest, I also have experience as a full-time computer science lecturer at a private university in my local country. And additionally, I create some tutorial videos for aspiring platform developers. Okay. So uh, a bit introduction of the apps is uh, in this Office Disinfect tracking mobile app uh, developed with Microsoft Power Apps Canvas app. The primary function is is uh, is a monitor and ensure the completion of Office Disinfect task by leveraging the capability of Power Apps and which is also user friendly interfaces. Okay, what are the features? We can add new inspection work, update inspection work. Taking work completion photos, sending notifications to IT support team, which is on my team, or which, is, which is on my Microsoft Teams. Can send email, can check office email, and also calling IT teams for emergency purposes. So the current steps I have leveraged is a SharePoint Online, where I'm saving all the data and Microsoft Teams. Um, for and created the channel for IT support channels and also the Outlook uh, Office 365 Outlook uh, connectors to send email. Okay, uh, let's start a demo. Okay, this is the SharePoint and this is my SharePoint list where I am saving all the, the, the Office disinfect tracking uh, details. Now, this is my uh, apps. Okay, this is the dashboard where I can see all the disinfect tracking list with their status. So I so I add an inspection. Select the project classification, check item, let's say laptop and laptop monitor. Any specific disinfect not applicable. So what is going to be an inspection date? Let's let's say tomorrow. Person in charge is outside person, so I can type the person in charge. The inspector name is let's say I'm the inspector. So it's it's coming from my MC65 business license users. Problem. Let's say, Suggestions, not applicable. Now I want to add file. Click. Sorry for the delay. Today I'm to be quite slow. Okay, the new inspection details added successfully. Now it will get back to our dashboard. Okay, so this is my new inspection details where I can see the details of the inspection and yeah, and the photos I have up, upload, update, uh, just upload it. And then I can also download the photos on my local drive when I'm using, when I'm using my mobile. Then we can also delete, delete our digital tech work. Now, the, here is the thing. Currently, it's showing a pending, and when I click edit, I can't change because I'm a user. I can't change the status for. So where I can change the status is from my SharePoint list. Basically, this SharePoint list is the only the admin can use, so they can update the status from the list. I can also send the notification to the IT teams on Teams channel. Okay, so. IT department, IT support team already got, got the information. We are IT teams, okay, this is the information just received on from IT support. I can also call them 
as I said, for emergency purposes. You can send an email to the directly to IT support team. This is the new one just now added. So from here, it's showing pending, but as an admin, I can change the status once once I see all the work detailed from here. So from here, I, I change the status to complete, save. Now I refresh the dashboard. So now it's showing completed the status. Moreover, I can also check the email. It's directly coming from my Office 365 business basic email that I purchased with the license. It's like my turn is too slow. Okay. These are the emails I'm getting from directly from my inbox. They say if they send any uh, emails, then it will trigger on, on my you know, gallery release that I've added with my HTML, HTML control. So I can see all the emails from my inbox. So that's all from me. Thank you.